Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking empties and rejects. That's kind of my new format for empties videos because I feel like it's also a good time to address not just the products I have finished and whether or not I'm going to repurchase them, but also the products that I've been trying lately in earnest that I know that I'm not going to finish. It's just like I'm ready to retire them and I will tell you why. So those will be at the end. I have a whole box here full of things that I've finished recently and there's even makeup in here, which is so exciting for me with the collection that I have to finish makeup, mind blowing. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump in. She's back in her sundress era, even though it's still pretending that it's winter outside. I don't, I don't know about New Jersey, y'all. I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't miss Texas, but I don't know about New Jersey. <laughs> like, huh. She says having just been to the Netherlands and like romanticized the Netherlands. Like we had some good weather in the Netherlands, but like it's not known for its weather, okay? <laughs> and, like if I were given the opportunity, I would move there in a heartbeat. So I guess it's not, all about the weather. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna start with the things that are familiar to the people who have been here before. I'm not gonna spend too, too much time here, but I do also wanna give attention to these products in case this is my first empties that you're watching. So this is gonna be like, you know, hair care and stuff that I, I go through pretty consistently. I have on like auto replenish. Starting with this. I might have more than one of these like rattling around somewhere, but this is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. I was essentially influenced by like the entire influencer community, the entire beauty community on this. I don't really know what sets it apart from the original one, the that's not the advanced clean version, but I really like it. I've been having some trouble lately though with like breakouts and stuff like that. I think I've been going way too hard on hair product and this is one of the things that I go really hard with, but like, I'm not willing to stop. I'm just gonna like keep putting my makeup on before I do my hair so that it's not going directly on my skin. And I have stopped doing the Tati trick of putting dry shampoo in my hair before I go to bed. I just think that that's giving me pimples. So <laughs> if anybody knows of one that's like really good for, I don't know, sensitive skin, like I think that the fragrance it doesn't do me a lot of favors. Like it smells wonderful, don't get me wrong. But I don't know, like all my hair products, I feel like are having, are having a maybe negative effect overall on my sensitive skin at the moment. And I will tell you the other one that's in here and that is the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. An absolute favorite among all people with hair. <laughs> That's an exaggeration, but I mean, it's just so ubiquitous. It's everywhere and I do ride or die for this. It's so good, I have it in my hair right now. And then I also have the Orbe Super Fine Hairspray, but I don't burn through it the way that I burn through these. Like, am I going to keep repurchasing them? Yes. Am I trying to use them a little bit less? Yes, because I'm really sick of breaking out. I'm just like really, really tired of it. My skin was so perfect. And I think I just got really stoked on styling my hair for a while, you know, and I notice it too, because it's actually, on the back of my hairline as well. It's not just on my face. And so I'm like, okay, like the evidence is there that like my hair products and I wash my hair every day. Maybe that's the problem. I don't know. I'm kind of lost. I'm, I'm at sea on this right now. So let me know. Let me know y'all's thoughts or your experience with, you know, wanting to have styled hair and wanting to be cute on a daily basis and your hair products like maybe breaking your skin out. Let me know. Okay, ew, ew. Ew, like the lid's not on this. I think it's still in my bathroom, but I have the Drunk Elephant Coco Mina Glossing Shampoo and the Drunk Elephant Coco Mina, this is wet. Okay, Marula Cream Conditioner, both empty. Ooh, I have another conditioner too. So these are just my normal bath products. And this is a case of, I use these because they don't break me out. Lots and lots of shampoos do break my skin out on my neck and around my hairline and stuff. And these don't, and that is why I went back to them. Like, is Drunk Elephant my favorite brand in the world to give my money to? Not really, but like, if anybody has been following my channel for like the last few years, you know what I went through trying to find a shampoo that didn't break me out, like a shampoo and conditioner that like didn't build up on my skin and stuff. And I just ended up having to go back to these because they're the only ones I found that really work, that I like the results of, that they don't weigh my hair down and that they don't have synthetic fragrance in them that like builds up on my skin and, and gives me really bad KP and stuff. So, 
I continue burning through these. So yeah, I bought refills of all of those in the Sephora sale. Like, can confirm, will continue to repurchase. And then I have one of these. This is the TLC Glycolic Body Lotion, also from Drunk Elephant. It is a 10% AHA blend, and it does an amazing job of eradicating KP and body acne for me on my neck and my chest and my shoulders. And I use this in conjunction with the empty that is always invisible, which is the Soft Services Micro Crystal Buffing Bars. I will stick a photo here because they're bars. <laughs> they just, they go away. When they're done, they're done. And I've probably been through three of them since my last empties. I just love them so much. If you're new here, that is a true like Cliff's Notes cut to the chase version of my KP body routine is like those Micro Crystal Buffing Bars you can hurt yourself with them, so be careful, keep them nice and wet, and keep them dry when you're not using them so that like the micro crystals don't get all like gelatinized and stuff. I'm not sure if the crystals do, but the actual bar does and it doesn't work as well. So there are like bar savers and stuff like that that you can use, but that is the physical exfoliant and then that glycolic body lotion is the chemical exfoliant and it's what keeps everything at bay for me and got rid of like my body acne and stuff, so. That and a lot of red light therapy. I have one of these and I have several on backup. Several, several on backup. This is the Flamingo Foaming Shave Gel. I did a sponsorship with Flamingo 2019 and I've been using this ever since. And I've actually, since I moved, it was like harder for me to find Flamingo. I found that they're on Amazon though. So like, it, I just don't have a target anywhere near me. And so I stopped using them for a minute and then I was like, bring them back. <laughs> I think Walgreens carries Flamingo now though too, so that was good, but this is just, it's an exceptional shave cream. It's just a really, really good shave cream and I've got like, I ordered like a box of them on Amazon. I've got like three more waiting in the wings. I do really like it. And one more hair product here. And I, this is empty, but I also have the refill pouches because this was my shampoo that I went to before I came back to Drunk Elephant. It was like the last one. And this is the Way Fine Hair Shampoo and A, a lot of people hate the smell of this. B, I found that it weighs my hair down. Like I had to go back to it because I ran out of my drunk elephant while I was waiting for my Sephora order to come. I know, right? Rookie mistake. But I went back to this for, I don't know, a week or something and my hair was just like, I was like, oh crap. So it also, because it does have the synthetic fragrance in it, it does kind of um, break my skin out if I use it for too long. I was using it for a while, but I was also I wanna say I still had highlights in my hair at the time, and so my hair was drier. Yeah, it just really, really, like it's shiny, it's nice, but it really does, for a fine hair shampoo, it really builds up on my hair, and I will not be repurchasing this. Plus, that bottle is obnoxious. Like, it's so loud. I take a shower sometimes, like, after my kiddo goes to sleep, and it's just like, clack, clack. I'm like, I feel like you can hear it thundering through the house. <laughs> Dumb thing, I know, but like, it matters to me, it's memorable. Ooh, okay, here is a, this is so, like, it's got so much like crud on it, I'm so sorry. So this was something I got in PR and I used it all the way up because I am an absolute moisturizer monster, okay? Like send me a moisturizer if it's not wildly fragranced, I will use it, I will use it. I only recently actually had to buy a body moisturizer because I had burned through all of the ones that brands had sent me. It's just a rare occurrence, but like I just went through all of them. So this is the body butter from a brand called mother that I had never heard of, but they sent me this. And it is, you know, a lot of brands claim to make body butters. A lot of them do. You know, I used the one from Josie Marin for a while, which is definitely somewhere. Oh, it's definitely somewhere. It's not my favorite. And I, it's weird that they call it a body butter because it's like barely a lotion, to be honest. For people who are really, really in need of like full body, like tenacious moisture that really sticks around, like, Calling that a body butter is a little bit rude. We open it and we're like, that's just lotion. That's not fair. This is body butter. You have to like break this down with your fingers and get it into this like super, super intense oil, which I'm not sure that I like that either. I think that like my favorite body butter is still like the Osea one. Oh, I know what it is. It's the Undaria Algae because I have the Undaria Algae body oil here. I think I just need to buy a new giant tub of the Undaria Algae body butter because it's like the most functional one for me and it's not a synthetic fragrance. It's like a really pleasant kind of natural citrus fragrance and it is so lovely. I am not anti-fragrance, certainly not 
at all in general. And then I am not anti uh, synthetic fragrance. This is my skin has other opinions, okay? And like, I can't really argue with them. So anyway, this did not have a fragrance, but I don't think that I would repurchase it. It does come in glass though, which is nice. I don't think I'd repurchase it because like I went through it so fast and it didn't sink in. I feel like it's almost like a slugging layer more than like a true moisturizer or a true body butter. And like, I like to use an oil as that. And this was like one of those almost like, like a saturated oil. So it had been completely like solidified. And by the time I broke it down on my skin, I just, it kind of just felt like aquaphor, you know, it just felt like a barrier more than it felt like it was moisturizing. And I felt like it came off on my clothes and my sheets and stuff like that. It wasn't my thing, but I still used it because it's a moisturizer. <laughs> I'm not going to kick it out of bed. Here we have an empty box of the Dr. Dennis Gross Extra Strength Daily P I was using the extra strength the whole time. Wait, <laughs> Tom, I was using extra strength the whole time. I made such a big deal out of that about whether or not I was using the extra strength ones y'all in my Sephora video. Mm, okay, I have recently had to come to terms with the fact that I definitely, even though it's completely undiagnosed, like I definitely have ADHD, okay? <laughs> I just don't, I just don't pay attention to things, okay? And like, I, I'm not bothered by it, but like, that's embarrassing. I've made such a big deal out of that. I was like, oh, I have the regular peel pads. No, I have the extra strength ones and I've had them the whole time. Okay. <laughs> Dump showers, 24 fucking seven. Okay, anyway, so yeah. I don't even know why I was asking Tom about their experience with the extra strength ones because apparently I had my own experience with them. Moving right along. No, this is a alpha beta peel kind of thing and I really, really enjoyed it and I bought the really gigantic one because I think it's great. It's kind of weird because like for the longest time I was like very anti like one use things. It was like, ooh, that's making a lot of waste and X, Y, and Z. And then these found me and all of my ethics went out the window. Isn't that terrible? I think that that's terrible. Maybe I can comment post them. I'm just being honest. <laughs> it's just not an ideal situation, but sometimes, especially as you're getting older, <laughs> me, 28 plus eight, I'm just, I'm in need of the retinol of it all. So that's what I've been doing. I don't even know if these are retinol. Like what are they? They're extra strength. That's for sure. <laughs> Ingredients. It's glycolic. So it's not retinol. Well, there you go. There you go. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. I didn't know that. Pfft. I was put all over my face. I love glycolic, but I thought it was retinol. And so I was like concerned. I was like, oh, I'm using this at the same time as the like TLC glycolic. I was like, I wonder, I can't let them like touch each other. You know, if they like <laughs> meet on my neck. Oh no, because you're not supposed to use glycolic and retinol at the same time, but like they're the same. So that's pretty cool. And I'm gonna get a chemical peel today and she's going to absolutely smoke me with, uh, with glycolic. So we're big fans of glycolic on this channel. Why are you like this? You just didn't curl at all? Is that, was that your plan today? Why don't you just do one of those and leave me alone? This is going off the rails pretty quickly. <laughs> Necessaire, the body wash in fragrance free. I've already repurchased this. Is it because it's exciting? Nope, it's because it's not exciting. It has nice cinnamide in it, I think, and it's just supposed to like, you know, be gen generally like good for your skin. I don't really mind one way or the other about like actives in it because the main thing is I just need something that doesn't build up on my skin, doesn't leave behind a residue for all the aforementioned reasons body acne and KP and whatnot. So I have maligned this product in the past and been like, it's just a body wash, but like, I'm here to tell you. I like it because it's just a body wash and you go through it so slowly. <laughs> I went through it so slowly because it's really concentrated and like you just don't need very much. And I appreciate it. I liked it. I don't want the fragranced versions. I don't care for them, but this is nice. And I bought it again. Who texts him? <laughs> Hello? Oh. <laughs> oh no. Uh oh, I have a missed call. Who's it from? Yes? Uh, it's the wrong number. Okay. Okay. 
That was nice. Let's let's keep going. Okay, so speaking of Osea Anderia Algae, you saw a preview of this a second ago. This is the Osea Anderia Algae Body Oil, and I love it. It is one of those things that <laughs> it's one of those things that we don't waste. Rub it on my body. It's one of those things that like I have turned people on to, and <laughs> then they make content about it. Okay, they're just like why has no one told me about this sooner? They tagged me in it. I don't know. It's kind of just like, I mean, it's like my favorite facial oil, but for your body in the sense that I just can't live without it. I can't live without it. Like when I run out, I need more. So I think that I'm going to be making an Osea order. I did some sponsorships with Osea last year, I want to say. And so I did have a little bit of like, you know, product backed up in a good way. You know, I had backups of them and now I don't, I've used them all. So I need to actually go and buy some. So it's just lovely. It smells really like genuinely and sincerely of orange in, in the best way possible. It's just very like beachy, but without being, it's not, you know, sol de janeiro. It's not sunscreeny. It's not synthetic. It doesn't smell overly sweet. It's just super pleasant. What are you doing? Are you that same piece of hair? Can you just calm down and pick a struggle? Okay, yes, this will be repurchased alongside the Adara Algae Body Butter because if I like, if I weren't getting things in the mail as PR, those would be the ones that would be like my absolute, like, you know, repurchase ride or dies all the time. They're just great, especially summertime. Ooh, make that nice supple skin. Hey, I got two of these. I got two of these. These are the, the Make Beauty, the Hydroscape Reverse Emulsions. I burn through these so fast and that's actually, I mean, it's good that they're only like $36. I know $36 is not nothing, but like for what these are, they're freaking incredible. The reverse emulsion is this like, it's a beautiful white kind of like serum oil that starts out like, like that, a little bit of residue that was on there. And then it becomes this beautiful, like moisturizing, but also occlusive layer. And it has a really beautiful cosmetic elegance to it that leaves your skin really dewy. I always say it's halfway in between the Future Dew from Glossier and the Hanicure emulsion, the Nano emulsion. The Nano emulsion is a little bit thinner, but very, very functionally similar, but a lot more expensive pound for pound, I think. And then a lot of people have asked me <laughs> to compare it to the Merit oil. I have no idea. I don't really buy things from Merit very often and I just love this. So I feel like I'm just kind of team make beauty. I, didn't, I don't think anyone elected me to put those two brands in opposition to one another. They might as well be like sister brands. I have no idea how they feel about one another, but they do kind of put out similar products and I am a make beauty girly all the way. I've just been more impressed by their products overall. Their shade ranges, their decisions. That's just, yeah, make beauty is bae as the youths say. The youths might not even say that anymore. Here's another one that's like absolutely no surprise to anyone. This is an empty triple lipid restore 242 from SkinCeuticals. These things cost me a fortune. I have them on auto replenish. I was talking a big game the last time that I had an empties video about how like, I think I'm gonna make it through like the worst part of winter without having to go to this because that would be nice. It would be nice. It would have been nice if that were true. It was not true. My skin is still like not quite back to normal from winter because winter is not over yet in New Jersey. Flowers are blooming, it's a lie. I should just spend like two weeks in Florida. I'm going to Charleston next week, like end of next week, no, maybe the following week on an influencer trip called Creators and Friends hosted by Samantha March and Simbri Cologne. I'm just like so excited about it and I am going to be a menace. I'm going to be insufferable. Oh, it's gonna be great. I'm gonna be the absolute worst version of myself. And by that, I do not mean getting drunk because y'all know that that's not me, not anymore. No, I can still be like the absolute worst version of myself, just living in the sunshine in a swimsuit. You've seen it. There's a literal live from my birthday of me being the worst version of myself in the sunshine in a swimsuit. I am indomitable under those circumstances. So I'm very prepared for that to completely rejuvenate my soul. Either way, I did not make it through winter without having this and it's still on auto replenish. I actually can't log into my account to turn off the auto replenish. So SkinCeuticals has me by the throat. It is what it is. <laughs> Let's talk about an oil, the best oil. This is the Iconolab Renewal Face Oil. 
and it's empty and I already have a refill of it. I do get these as, you know, gifting from the brand. This is like their main product. They do a body oil, they do like a hand sanitizer, stuff like that, but it's a very small company owned by Tanya Gold, who is like the loveliest human being. Like, give your money to Tanya Gold, not just because she's a lovely person, but also because this remains the best face oil I've ever used. I have been slowly working my way through the Fortuna one because it's my job to review products and I do like it, but it's wildly expensive, like way more expensive than this, I wanna say pound for pound, and this just is still the one. Oh, I'm the worst. So it is a beautiful anti-aging oil. It puts the texture, the like finished texture on my skin that I want my skin to look like all the time. It is another really cosmetically elegant product that when I like, you know, get down in the shower and get all my skincare on or whatever, this as a last step puts me like back on good terms with my skin. My skin's like, look, I'm pretty. And I'm like, thank God. <laughs> Cause it was touch and go there for a minute, you know? So this has like anti-aging benefits, but also looks like you just did a full face of Sunday Riley when you put it on. And I have read a lot of like cute little, you know, articles and blog posts and stuff about MUAs really loving this as a cosmetic, you know, part of their routine for, you know, doing makeup on other people because it just lends such a gorgeous finish to the skin when you're done. And it also is super beneficial. So I just love it. She makes all of her stuff in California. And like I said, it's in these like, you know, micro batches and everything. I highly, highly recommend it. And I do have a discount code. You can get 20% off down below. And sometimes they go out of stock because it is a small company. So get well again's good. And I think they have a mini too. I'm not sure. Sometimes that goes out of stock too. This is the information that I have. I have some makeup empties. One is a brow pencil, probably the easiest thing to work your way through in a makeup routine, right? It's just, there's usually very little product in a brow product, right? The only thing with this <laughs> Make Beauty is, you know, it's refillable. So it's like, all I have to do is buy this little cartridge and then that's it. But can I buy a new spoolie? Because ew, I don't want to keep reusing that. That is nasty. That is like when I tell my kid, like, he's like, I don't want to take a bath. And I'm just like, you are gross. <laughs> You're gross and you need a bath and it's not negotiable. You're gross and you need a bath and it's not negotiable. Now I probably, I can clean it, but I do want to find out if like I need to, because I kind of don't want, it's just gross. We'll see. The jury's out on the refill concept actually being a home run, but I have this in Cool Brown, Make Beauty Blade Line. And I mean, obviously I worked my way through it because I really like it, but the one that I am using right now is on the floor along with everything else. Here it is. The one that I'm using right now is another refillable one and this is from Surratt. Oh no, that's so tiny. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't know how much the refill is for this but Surratt is wildly expensive but they sent me this and I really enjoy just A, how petite it is and B, that they bothered to weight it. It's metal and it's weighted and it's just so luxurious. It's like really stupid how much that tantalizes me. It's really dumb. It's really dumb how satisfying it is for me, but like someone who made that gets me, you know? Another brow product that's fini, okay? Like I'm not sure if like it's actually empty, but like it's so old. I think I bought this in like 2020 or something. Like girl, let it go. This is the authored brow gel. I have nothing but good things to say about this. It's basically the Glossier Boy brow, but it's a little bit more intense in terms of color and hold. There's a lot more in the tube and it's vegan, which is not the case with the Boy brow. I'm not a vegan. I think it's a noble pursuit, but I just think that I should let you know. <laughs> if you're looking for, you know, a vegan brow product, it's very good. Authored is a brand by Tanya Burr. Just talking about some Tanyas today. Maybe we'll get to White Lotus in a minute, but Tanya Burr is like a very, very like well-known YouTuber from, you know, the 2010s. You know, she was part of the like, the Zoe Sug culinary universe. <laughs> I don't know why I always call it the culinary universe. She's part of the Zoe Sug culinary universe. And she had a brand called Tanya Burr Cosmetics that actually did really well at the time. And then she has recently come out with like a more clean brand. And I don't know how well it's doing. She just had a baby. We all get a little bit sidetracked when we have a baby, sometimes permanently. So, you know, good for her. But her brow product is really, really nice. It's just hard for us to get it here. I, I ordered like the whole line all at once and I don't remember how much I paid in shipping, but I have heard anecdotally from y'all in the comments, like that is prohibitively expensive to get to the US. So if you're in the UK, I recommend this. You know what? 
I'm too excited to not call this an empty. And I honestly, I think I need to move on because when I pick this up on a brush, I'm just not getting any product anymore. And I, I mean, I could keep working on it, but like I haven't, I have a backup. And just for the sake of like the aesthetic of, you know, what you're seeing on camera, I think that it's time to call this good. You know, this is the Kosa's Cloud Set in Airy. I have a backup of this shade. And then I also have a backup of the next deeper shade that they sent me. So we'll see which one I want to use in the summertime. Might give y'all a little bit more, I don't know, information about the flexibility of the shades and stuff. We shall see. But I think it's time to move on from this. I do really appreciate her. This is my favorite powder. I love it so much. A lot of people say that the packaging fails and mine is a little like rickety at the moment. She's really a great match for Rattly Natalie in spirit and also in, you know, practical execution. Where are you, Rattly? So there's Rattly Natalie. It's the BK 108. And that's what I use with this a lot of the time for like my under eyes and stuff. I've been trying a lot of powders lately. I tried the new one from Laura Mercier, which I bought and then they sent it to me. That's the worst case scenario is having two of something. And so I bought this during the sale so that I could review it for y'all. I don't really like it because it's way too luminous. And then they sent me one. That's what's annoying about kind of inconsistency in terms of whether or not you know you're gonna get PR from a company is because you don't know whether to wait around or to buy and then you end up with two. And that was what happened, so I have two. So anyway, I do not a huge fan of this one. I tried the one from Ami Cole. It was a little too mattifying for me. I have tried, I haven't tried the typology one yet. I, I rattled around somewhere and I don't know where it is. But either way, I have been trying a lot of different powders and I still come back to this one, it's still the best. So yes, I have backups on my backups and she is finally finished. I also finished this, yuck. I'm not using the remnants of that. Absolutely not. Ew, ew, ew. But I did just buy another one because Natalie of my skin trust was like, hey, can you swatch the new LH Cosmetics Fantastic in Topaz against Bikini? Because this is just the most unbelievably beautiful, like muted right? Like muted, super desaturated nude, like almost like grayish. She loves bikini and she was like, okay, can you swatch it against that? And I was like, I finished bikini. I think there's enough to swatch here. I think that I can swatch it. They're very, very sheer, both of them. But I was like, wait, it didn't even occur to me that like the byproduct of me finishing this product was that I now can't swatch it against other things. So I rebought it and I bought Picante while I was at it because it's the most beautiful kind of apricot coral I've ever seen. So we shall see. <gasps> Natalie! I think that that is one of the highest compliments that I could give to that Fantastic, which is this one. It's just basically a balm version. It might be ever so slightly peacher, but like barely, barely, barely. Then Bikini from Victoria Beckham, which I mean is it has the accolade, it has the superlative of being my favorite lip gloss, clearly. Like the formula is perfect, the color is perfect, it's just a perfect product, okay? So anyway, there's your answer, Natalie. They are extraordinarily similar, they're just a little different in finish. Actually today I'm wearing the Hourglass ones in, I have three of them here, Trace. I was swatching all of them to try to compare to this and none of them is really, they're all a lot warmer, but Trace has that really lovely kind of like golden thing to it. And that's why I was wearing it today because I went with all oranges and peaches on my face today. Like I really felt like it unified the look. So I went with the Viredo palette and I went with all the like orange, orange, orange. I went with the uh, Charlotte Tilbury blush wand in Peach Pop. And I went over that with, you know, more of my like Armani in the peach. I did use a little bit of the pink one too, but I was just really leaning into it. And then when I got it all done, all done, all done, like after I put the, you know, Byredo, like these beautiful kind of like citrusy colors on, got it all done. And then I was like, you know what it needs? <laughs> Sunlit Diamond and the hypnotizing pop shot from Charlotte Tilbury. Something I did not think I was going to make as much use of as I have, but what it lacks in performance and like longevity, it really makes up for in the fact that it's just such a dynamite color. And I can just like always find a reason to put it on. So that's what we're, that's what we're working with today. I, that's why I'm like mostly apricot at the moment. And again, that was trace on my lips. Next, I have this. I finally finished one and that's actually kind of remarkable because I have several of them. So it's like I've been working my way through a few of them at once and I finished one. I mean, you could say I didn't, but that's not really even enough for like one lip application. So yeah, this is my Thrive Cosmetics Lip Filler Lip Liner in the shade Khaki. It's the best, okay? It's just the best. 
It's the best color. I love this. I have another one. I have several <laughs> rolling around and it's because I love them so much. It's like the perfect lip contour. So another makeup empty. All right. The last things here, we have three rejects, things that I have absolutely no intention of finishing. One, and this is in the wrong bottle. This has been a fail from the start. Okay. This is the Laura Mercier setting mist. I'm, I swear I'm not running some kind of like negative campaign against Laura Mercier here. I love a lot of their products, but their setting mist sat unused for so long because I got a dud. The sprayer just didn't work. And so I like never even really got to try it. And so when I finished a Fix Plus from MAC, I just poured it in there to use it because I, you know, it's an empty bottle. Why not? And I mean, to tell y'all, it's a mislabeled hairspray. That is what this is. And occasionally when I have my hair scraped back into a bun and I need the flyaways to lie down, I will just hit it with this. So I guess I shouldn't say that like it's a complete reject. I'm never going to use it. It's just not a finishing spray for your face. It's a finishing spray for your hair. It is hairspray. I sprayed it on my face one time in a video and I was like, what is happening? My whole face just went stiff. Yuck. Not what I wanted. So I don't even know if they make it anymore, to be honest. It took me so long to review it, but I, it's definitely not something I'm going to finish or recommend in any capacity having to do with being an actual makeup spray. This is another one that this is, ugh, this was like sent to me in kind of a um, PR package of a bunch of brands, but this is the Vegamore Hydrate Deep Moisture Repair Mask Breakout City. So much fragrance. I don't know. I, I, they don't claim not to have fragrance, but they also sent me a Crown Affair one. Ooh, I don't even like the fragrance. I've been using it to like shave my legs, but it's so slippery that I like can't hold my razor. So I'm like, I, I have no use for this. Maybe I'll just give it to someone if they're like here, you know? My friend Leslie's coming to visit. Maybe I'll just give it to her if she needs a hair mask or something. Like somebody who doesn't have as sensitive of skin as I do, but like I don't like the fragrance. It weighs my hair. I used the tiniest amount of it, like just in my ends before I gave myself a haircut a while back. And Mm -mm. Nope, 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 nope. Way too heavy. Way too heavy. But yeah, I gave away a crown affair one that I probably should have held on to just to see. But like, I think hair masks in general are just kind of bad news for me. It's just too much for my sensitive, special little angel hair. Okay. Like they're just tiny. <laughs> they're skinny legends. <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to make the best of the fact that I have very thin, fine hair and this is just too much for it. So not going to finish it. And finally, Finally, with my Bayredo my Bay order, with my Bayredo order, you know, they always offer you samples, right? And I, I just heard so many good things, especially because I love Seven Veils. Seven Veils is like one of my favorite perfumes of all time. I, I just love it so much and it's so vanilla and lovely. A lot of people are like, well, I can't get my hands on Seven Veils. It's like an exclusive somewhere or something. And so they say like, oh, try Baldafrique. No, I'm sorry. Tom and I have sworn that we're just, well, they started it, but I have adapted. We're just going to start pronouncing things wrong on purpose, okay? Because I can't pronounce it right. And I'm not offending the French. They know their language is hard to pronounce. Like, that's the point. That's the point. It's hard to pronounce. Me looking like an idiot trying to pronounce French doesn't offend the French, okay? It just makes me look like an idiot. So I have nothing to lose. Bald freak. <laughs> that bald freak. I don't like it at all. I don't like it at all, y'all. I put this on and I was like, wash it off. I really like took a chance because I was like, oh, it smells okay when I spray it on paper. I want to see how it like communicates with my body's oils. No, I don't like it. So the thing that this, I'm besides me just sitting here telling you I don't like it, I will tell you like the notes in this remind me if memory serves of Glossier You. So that's why a lot of people are going to love it. And that's why I don't love it because Glossier you and I don't get along. It is that pink peppercorn smell. And I know that it has other things. These like musks and vanilla probably and like, you know, tonka bean or some crap, but like the pink peppercorn makes me smell like I am a smoker. Like I've just been outside, like it, it just gives me that Benson and Hedges vibe. <laughs> like I've been outside smoking and it's just, it's just nasty. It does not go well with my skin. I like bright things. I've just recently fell in love with uh, Wild Poppy from Nest. If that tells, these could not be more different from one another. And today I'm actually, I'm still trying to work through like the last little remnants of the My Daughter Fragrances Joyful, which a lot of people don't like because I think it's just kind of too bright. You know what? I shine too bright for a lot of people and so does my perfume. But yeah, all the musky notes and all of the really deep woody notes a lot of times, they're just too much for me. I'm not, I don't want to, 
This is such like an Ingrid, Ingrid sitting there rolling her eyes because she always says, she's like, you can't just say that you don't like, I still have lip gloss on my hand. I should be careful. You can't just say that you don't like a note, you know, because it, it's kind of like saying that you don't like an ingredient because you haven't had it combined maybe in the most ideal way and it could be fantastic. So, you know, don't let something that is like one note that's listed, you know, on a fragrance profile, determine whether or not you, you know, pre-assume that you're going to like it or not. That said, if something is very cedar forward or something is very like deep woody forward or musk forward, you know, think Abercrombie and Fitch, like I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Cause it's just like an instant headache for me. And this was like instant headache. And I could, I just felt like I could taste it. That's why fragrances are so personal y'all. Cause like, I love Byredo. I love Byredo. So yeah, this is Sundays. Another one that's just bright and sugary and lovely. Am I a child maybe? Like, am I like a junk food person as far as fragrances are concerned? Maybe, I'm not gonna go buy, you know, like Bath and Body Works or Victoria's Secret or something like that. Like, no tea, no shade. No tea, no shade, but I'm, I'm not going to. But I do realize that like, especially this time of year, I'm I'm really into like the bright, jasmine-y, citrusy, sunshiny fragrances. Like Clinique Happy, I could I could wear Clinique Happy all day long. Ralph by Ralph Lauren, like yes, you know? <laughs> I love a preppy citrusy fragrance and I love a sexy citrusy fragrance. And yeah, the Bald Freak, Bald Freak, she didn't work for me. And that is the vibe today, y'all. Those are my empties, I think. All of, all of which I have covered here. I will say what I always say and that is, Every time I finish filming one of these videos, I turn over a leaf and I find a bunch more empties that I saved somewhere thinking I was putting them in an intelligent place that I would definitely remember later and I didn't because I'm coming to terms with the fact that I have ADHD, okay? <laughs> I have no object permanence. I've done fine in life on A's and B's and not really paid much attention to anything else. And Carrie helped me realize, Carrie Canary helped me realize that my entire career is built off of one hyperfixation. <laughs> Hence me getting such a thrill out of swatching a bunch of really similar colors for y'all. So I hope that this was fun for you. I love y'all so much. I'll put a video up here that you'll enjoy. I think if you liked this one, give it a thumbs up if you did like it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank y'all so much for watching. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> wow. That was way more chaotic than I thought it was going to be. <laughs>